morning everyone, it's March 11th, 2023, and this is FSD Beta 11.3.1 on Test Loop 1. In 500 feet, turn right onto Plum Canyon Road. So the first long-standing issue is as soon as, right onto Plum Canyon Road. as soon as I turn out right onto Plum Canyon Road, it misses the 45 sign. So let's see how that's doing. After this car, we should go. There it is. Okay, so it thinks it's 50. There's the 45 sign. Perfect. That issue is resolved. That I, not that it ever ran through a yellow on this light before. Let's see how the acceleration is once this goes green. The second, what I would like to see here is a turn signal for the merge. Let's see what it does. Okay, still no turn signal. Okay, decelerating for that 45, and it hits my speed limit as I pass the sign. That's nice. See how it handles this entry into the left turn. So it should start signaling now. now turn left onto a little late. Doing a very lazy entry into this turn, impacting that free flowing right straight lane. Cutting this left turn a little tight to that bus. Okay, speed bumps. Slowing down to 17. 16. See how these stop signs are handled. Okay, a better approach to the stop. There's the full stop. There's the decision to proceed. That's basically how my son is being taught how to drive. <laughs> so that one wasn't bad. I want to see how this one does. For those that have been following along, this one it does this little creeping forward for visibility when it's quite clear. So let's see. There's the creeping forward. Yeah, a little slower on the acceleration, but not not too bad. In 500 feet, turn left onto Copper Hill Drive. Wow, that got down to 15, actually 15, 14 for that speed bump. Okay, let's see how it handles the acceleration uphill here. Very quick decision to proceed. A little slower accelerating, but not bad. Okay, so does it, it should see this speed bump. Now turn left onto Copper Hill Drive. Now this left turn. So I'd like to see it keep left of the lane, which it appears to be doing, although you can see it kind of doing this right arc. Okay, keep going up to that stop line. Okay, it's clear to the right and it's clear to the left, but there's a car turning, now it can see. A little slow deciding because of that obstruction with the car, and it appears to be picking the wrong lane here, so I'm gonna send that in. It handled it well, but it could have, it should have just went right into the, the proper lane. There was no car coming that it had to deal with. Okay, so I'm just gonna end the trip until we're past this stop, this light.
non... I don't like how it enters these left turn lanes. That's my personal preference. Yes, I know that's nitpicking, but I'd like to see it just get into the turn lane efficiently and smoothly and clear the, f the um, straight traffic and not impact its, the drivers behind me as much. I can really see the path prediction jumping around here. There we go, now it's nice and steady. But I'm seeing a bit of this, where it's cutting this this edge quite a bit, instead of being a little wider out and directly into the lane without impacting any vehicles here. Okay, we should get the green. There it is. Okay, let's see if it cuts this turn a bit. Okay, it's hesitating. I'm giving it a push because of that car. We have the advanced. Okay, so it did cut that edge, but only a tiny little bit. That turn, it cut the turn just a little bit. with the, the way it decelerates. Very smooth. to stay in this right lane would prefer the car pick the empty turn lane for completing the left turn so this is a much better arc for not cutting this corner especially since we have a car that is going to be going with us on this turn so that's a really nice left turn arc and it's interesting how this one isn't going around cars like it was on that other turn. The path prediction isn't jumping as much. the green ok 
Kate. Nice left turn. Okay, so there's a pothole here at this next light. I'm gonna have to intervene on that because it does not move out of the way. It doesn't swerve right or left to avoid the pothole. Not yet, anyway. Unless they filled it. Nope. Avoiding a pothole. I love the voice notes to explain why I'm intervening. Those are a really nice touch. So, I'm not sure why it's signaling left. There, it cancelled itself. Turn right onto Plum Canyon Road. So, it still doesn't want to get in this right turn. It should signal now and move over. It waits to up here, and when there's a lot of traffic, it, it has a whole bunch of now problems getting right into this turn lane. Canyon Road. So, no change on this turn. I've seen it decide to get over one. As you can see, I'm having a lot of issues with the visualization on this build. It is an early, early release. I'm hoping this gets polished and is more reliable. Okay, you're going to see this lazy entry into the left turn lane again, I think, for this last left turn. So, yeah, see, <laughs> They really need to work on that one. And then there's a nice left turn back to our start point. There's FSD beta 11.3.1 on test loop one.